the Brigantine branch of the Atlantic County Library System. And I have a fun craft for you. Um, it's for the kids, uh, but you know, big people can join in too. You could be a lot of help and it's fun to do it together. And um, actually in another video, I did a read aloud and it was on this book, let's see here. All right, called Bear Came Along. And um, I read that compliments Little Brown and Company. And we had a lot of fun with it. So you might want to check out that other video, the story of Bear Came Along. But what we're going to do is we are going to um, make a craft that in the story with Bear, and this is Bear right here, we had a bunch of friends, a bunch of critter friends. So my coworker at the library, Miss Gina, made these fabulous critters that you can make at home, all right? And um, today I'm just gonna make Bear to show you as an example, but you can make all of these critters the same way, all right? And it's all about, um, you're gonna make some new friends, and just like with the story, it'll be about coming together with your friends and having an adventure, all right? So, like I said, Bear and his friends, they look a little bit like these guys, and uh, Miss Gina couldn't be with me, but she shared her secrets, and I'm going to share them with you. So here's all the stuff we're gonna need. Now, it's really easy if you're doing this at home. Here's all that you're gonna need. All right, you need empty paper towel or toilet paper rolls. All right, you're gonna need that. Make sure they're empty. Uh, you need construction paper of assorted colors, just all kinds of colors in there. You need googly eyes, those funny looking eyes. You need those. If you can't find them, that's okay. We can draw them on. So for drawing, you need either crayons, we have those here, or markers. And you're also going to need glue sticks or glue. We have these here, one of the other. Um, if you do use glue, we recommend that you use Elmer's Glue All, um, maybe rather than Elmer's School Glue. It just works a little bit faster. Or, or if you have an adult with you, you can use hot glue sticks and a hot glue gun, which is what I am going to use today. All right? So those are all the things that we need to make our critter friends. And so far as the adventure that you're going to have with them, well, all you need for that is your imagination. We're gonna start with the bear's body. Now this is what we're making today. This is bear, all right? And we're gonna start with his body. So for bear's body, we need um, the toilet paper roll, all right? And then you are going to need a piece of brown construction paper. Now, It'll be a big piece of paper and you're gonna cut it out. If you're using a ruler, you can measure and it's about five and a half inches by six and a half inches. Or you can just eyeball it and take that big piece of paper and wrap it around and cut it just so that you have a little bit of extra so you'll have room to glue it. And a little bit of extra, I don't know if you can see there, you'll need a little bit of extra on each end. All right, so that's what we're gonna do first to make the body. So we have our toilet paper roll and we have our square piece of paper. Okay, so we are going to wrap it around. All right, and what we're going to do is take our glue or if uh, you have a big person with you, they can use the hot glue gun and we're gonna put glue all down the center back. All right, and then we are going to fold this over and mush it down. Now, if you're using regular glue, um, you're gonna have to hold it together and wait a few seconds for it to stick. But with the hot glue, it's pretty, pretty fast. All right, and as you can see, we have a little bit of extra at the bottom, a little bit of extra at the top. All right, and that's our bear's body. All right, good so far. All right, next we have the head and the ears. So you're gonna need another piece of brown construction paper and you can use even a scrap and you are going to use a pencil or a crayon or a marker and you're just gonna draw a head and ears. 
And you can even use um, like the bottom of a paper cup to trace a circle to make his head and then put the ears on. And then you're gonna cut that out. And you can draw his head and his ears any way you want. It could come out like a lot of different ways. It might come out with these big floppy ears or one little ear and one skinny ear or a big head and two tiny ears. It doesn't matter. You can make it however you want. All right, so which one am I going to use? All right, so we're gonna pretend that I drew it and then I cut it out and I'll use this one right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make his face we're gonna put everything on his face before we glue his head onto his body, all right? So this is the bear's head. And the next thing you need is you need white construction paper and you're gonna make his muzzle. And you see the white there? That's his muzzle. So you're just going to have um, a little piece of white construction paper. It's um, kind of like a U. All right, that's gonna be his muzzle. And then you're gonna take black construction paper and you're gonna cut out a tiny triangle. He's so tiny, see it? And just look at the bear there and you can see how that is. You can see his white muzzle and the black triangle that makes his nose. So those are the first two things we're gonna glue on his face. All right, so we take our glue or our hot glue gun and we're gonna uh, glue his muzzle right at the bottom of his face in the center. I'll show you in just a second. All right, let me make sure, all right. So I did that and it's a tiny bit crooked, but that's okay. He has a crooked smile. All right, so there we go. And then we have to take his little black triangle nose and we're going to put that at the top of the muzzle. Hmm. All right, that's a little crooked too, but that's okay. All right, yours will probably be perfect. Mine is crooked. All right. Then we are going to get our black crayon or a black marker. And what we're going to do, if you look at Bear's face, you can see that the top of his nose, we drew another little triangle at the top of his nose. All right, and that makes the whole nose. And I'm just gonna make it kind of squiggly lines in there. Squiggly lines. And that makes, that makes his, his nose. And then he has a little line that runs from the bottom of his nose to the top of his mouth. We're gonna draw that little line and his little mouth. I'm giving him a smile. Cause he has a crooked muzzle and he thinks it's funny. So there he is, all right? He's looking pretty good, right? I know you can do this, it's fun. So what is he missing? Eyes, okay. I have googly eyes. Now, you can get all of these supplies, even the googly eyes, um, you can get them at a dollar store or sometimes a drug store or a craft store or online. They're pretty easy to find all of these things. And googly eyes, sometimes, you can peel off the back and they stick by themselves. If not, you can glue them on. All right? So I got lucky, mine peel and stick. And I'm gonna put them right, oh my goodness. Not peeling and sticking. This one gets a dab of glue. All right. Okay. So whether you peel and stick or whether you glue, then he has, the bear has his eyes, right? And you can do a lot of other stuff. If you look, Miss Gina actually made his ears look fuzzy and she outlined. 
You could give it eyelashes. You can do anything you want to make your friend um, look kind of funny and cute the way that you want them to look. But I'm just going to leave mine simple like this. All right? We're almost done. So now we're ready to put Bear's head on his body. Now you don't want to put it like all the way at the top like that. You don't want to do that because then he might fall over. You're going to take the back of his head and kind of make sure that it's uh, a little bit closer to the top of his body. Okay? All right. And then we're just going to take our glue or our glue gun and on the back of his head, we're going to put a line of glue all the way down the center. All right. And then remember the seam that we that we glued, that's his back. So in front, we're gonna stick that right there and we're gonna mush it down. Make sure that's all good. Look at that. Now he has a head. Alright? So what's missing? His paws. He needs paws. So we're going to get our brown construction paper again, and we are going to cut out four little ovals. Now an oval is like kind of like a long circle or a kind of shape like an egg, and you're going to cut out four of those because you're going to have two up top and two at the bottom. And you can either leave them plain like this, or you can do like Miss Gina and you can draw the pads of his paws, which would be a little circle with hairy things, and you can put toenails. You can just draw little squiggly lines and give them toenails. So I'm going to use the one that we put the little toenails on, all right? And the skinny part is what we're going to glue on his body. So we'll do his two top paws first. Got a little glue sticking out there. All right, there's one. Another one at the top. Oh, he's coming together, guys. There's two. And we take another paw. And then we put that one at the bottom. Yep. One more. And, and, look at that, look at that, look what you made, bear, you have bear for an adventure and you can make all of his critter friends by using different colors of construction paper and googly eyes and you can make tails and all sorts of fun stuff. It's all up to your imagination and pretend. And then you can take all of your critters and you can have an adventure of your own, something crazy or magical that you make up. And then you can share it with us and tell us all about it the next time you visit the library. Mm -hmm.